we've got three rows up here and we're all of them are doing the alt method with the water flooding and draining and uh, the centered trough has got basically just nutrient rich organics uh, 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 nutrients in the water and it and it's been on a flood and drain so it's uh, it's actually on a on a a flooding cycle only where it it comes on and over spills but it brings in fresh nutrients that's been uh, sort of uh, not working great because it's it's putting a little bit uh, too many you know uh, uh, poured easy difficult to digest solids in the water uh, plant roots and bacteria need to stay uh, consuming you know more of the carbohydrate rich uh, elements that have all the nutrients uh, bound to them, um, but nonetheless, the roots are doing great. I can show you down here better. You can see there, and the water's rising at this particular moment in the trough. Yep, so that's it. And then now we've taken some of that algae from the center trough up above and brought it down here to feed those guys, as you can almost see. But they definitely found the, uh, the green goodies. This is what's remaining of the last feeding. Um, they eat all the duckweed, but there's just a little, sort of a little stream of some kind of uh, algae, but that could just be coming from the upper upper trough still, since it's been over overflowing into the middle level, and that's been going down to here. So we probably got a lot of that algae collecting on the roots, but not enough to impede our growth. And you know, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things and maybe do a total dissolved solid test of the water and check the turbidity, cloudiness. It's a little bit cloudy. Um, and uh, take it from there. We got Russian kale in there. Everything's a little bit on the on the on the slightly yellow side, especially over here. You can see a little bit too much yellow, but that's because our um, pH has not been uh, has not been too low low enough here. In the growing in the sort of the colder months, but as things pick up, we'll we'll get that pH lowered, and we've got some. Uh, some interesting uh, uh, natural products we're going to be adding to the to the water that maintain organics and the organic uh, certifiability, I should say, um, and uh, nonetheless give us a drop to help us drop the pH to optimize some of that plant growth. It's not really something you can do with aquaponics because, um, it, well, as well as you'd like to. Um, between the two, you've got an acid-loving plant and alkaline-loving water uh, fish, and they both share the same water. So that becomes a little conflict. Uh, we don't, we're not dependent on the fish. We've got pretty hardy fish, but we're mostly uh, uh, focused on growing high-value green nutritional crops and growing them very efficiently. vortex and that's it uh, that's the update from the greenhouse at the city of refuge here in Atlanta Georgia and I'm David with Bioponica and uh, thanks for watching